Hey guys, Terrip up here, and we're going to be doing an unboxing. So, as you can see in the top right hand corner, I have three boxes. This is the Orange Pie 03 kit that I bought. The first thing that it comes with is a USB power supply. Looks really nice. Okay. The next thing it comes with, and if I'm not sure, these boxes aren't identified. Next one should be the board, or it's the expansion board. Okay. This is the expansion board. Use my exacto blade. Pop it out real quick. So, oh no, this is the actual Orange Pi Zero. Okay. So that's kind of cool. We got Ethernet, USB, USB C, and a micro HDMI. And if I had to guess, this is probably a 24-pin header. And I'm not sure what's on this size. This is our antenna. And this is our UART uh, cable. It is a all-winner H16. There's our 4 gigs of... DDR4 and and this is the bottom and that's where the SD card goes. So we'll put that there. Which that means this is the expansion board. We use our Vacta knife again, so Show it there. Okay. Now this is weird that this is considered a zero board. Okay. Because to me this is a zero board. Okay. But this is the Orange Pi 03. This is an expansion board that gives us Appears to be a mic, audio jack, infrared, and two additional USB. And don't want to assume anything, but that lines up perfect. Okay. So we'll see. Maybe I got it on backward. But uh, now that does kind of line up perfect. All right, so we're going to assemble this, put it together, and get it up and running. I'm going to get some um, brass stands to put on the bottom so that it's off the ground. But, um, yeah, this is another little board we're um, going to review. This was on Amazon, this whole kit, and it was 43 bucks, 45 by the time um, shipping and all that and it was another board that I could afford and not have to wait two to three weeks with AliExpress and um, I have quite a number of uh, orange pies it's actually starting to look uh, very much like a fruit salad in my board collection with raspberries still being the most followed by banana and then the orange pie Okay, let's go ahead and get this thing up and running. Okay. 
there is a white triangle right here. And this indicates that this is pin one and it's going to go here. And this will be the five volts out. Then our USB, USB three, out, uh, audio out, TV IR. So Well, it could be also TV out because you could use one of the adapters that does the uh, RF. But yes, I was right. It does connect like that. I'm going to lift it up again because I want to get my wireless antenna up underneath there a little bit better. I just like it a little bit neater. See if I can get it. There we go. I'll hold it there for a second. And we will line this up again and push down. It's not a bad little compact board, so and I think here we go. There we go. All right, so we will now get a card burned, and we will get this up and running after we go over the web page. Okay, so we're on the Orange Pies web page, and uh, there's our device minus the header. It's an all-winner H618 quad-core Cortex A53, and it comes with either a... 1 gig, 1.5 gig, 2 gigs, 4 gigs, and I have the 4 gig model, okay? With Wi-Fi 5 and Bluetooth and Bluetooth 5. And Wi-Fi 5, for those of you that don't know, that's uh, AC. So it's going to have some decent, decent speeds on it, okay? So it has a gig port on it. USB-C 2, which, you know, that's that right there, and the USB-C power supply. So, again, not a little bad device. Scroll down, there's a picture of it. Comparing this to the Pi Zero 2, um, all winner H616. Uh, and they're both 64 bit, so the Pi 3 zero, uh, zero 03 has the H618 64 bit. On board, there is a micro SD with a 2 megabit flash. DDR3 versus LPDDR4, so we know it's definitely going to be faster. And look at, I mean, this is the the zero two right so the max on it was one gig and now we can go up to four gigs the banana pie it has two gigs on it okay and um mango pie has one and then the zero um two which um which is a pie format board that actually has up to two gigs So it's impressive that they've um, they're coming out with better and better, and the board size, the three looks a little bit uh, smaller, and then the OS is Android ten, Ubuntu Debian. We have Android twelve TV. Debian 11 and 12, and Ubuntu 2204 and 2004. And the dot four means it's long uh, term service. Okay, so the board, so like I was telling you guys, this is our UART. And one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Did I count that right? One more time. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So it's twenty-six pin GPIO. And then like I said over here, we have the other thirteen that the expansion board plugs on. All right, going from the bottom and going around counterclockwise. So we have our um, one gig chipset for the ethernet controller. There's our one gig port, our two point USB there. And um, this is an A, just so you know, guys know the difference. Type C power supply, micro HDMI. The PUMI. No, oh, so it is a 26 pin header. I've, I've seen 24, so that's why I was kind of curious. Our 4 gig on my board, the debug TTL U UART cables, the H618 processor, the antennae, uh, well, LED, the antennae. The chipset for the wireless and Bluetooth, and then the 13 pin functional interface. On the bottom, there's the 16 gigabyte SPI flash, which I'm not sure, I'm not really sure why we're using that on this particular board because we only have the the SD, and I don't see where we could uh, use. EMMC or NVNE. So, okay. The Mali G31 MP2. That's a, we've seen that on other boards, so that's pretty good. Uh, and then, you know, it's going down explaining the stuff and then more pictures of the board. So, we're going to scroll back up to the top real quick. And we're going to go to download. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to download the Debian image. Oh, now that's kind of cool. OpenWRT could run on this. Except I would want more Ethernet, but that's just me. Okay, there's Pi, Orange Pi OS Arch, but... Again, we're going to go with the Debian image. So we'll click over here. And we're going to go with the 6.1 kernel. And this is good to know. So look here real quick. It says that there... So here is for the 1.5 gig, the 1 and 2 gig, and the 4 gig. So... That is interesting to know that they do have different model or different versions of the OS for uh, for the board. So we're going to get Bullseye, and I want X Face. We're going to hit download, and yep, I was afraid it was going to do that. So let me stop real quick, and I'm going to switch over to. I'm going to go ahead. And, I'm not going to. I am going to kill the camera, but we're going to go ahead, stop here. I'm going to use my um, Chrome uh, that I'm signed in real quick. Anytime you hit where it says it can't um, download it, I don't know why it does it, but it wants to have your Google account, and I don't know if they're copying it over there, but I'm going to log in to Google real quick, download it, burn it to an SD card, and then we're going to fire it up. Okay, so we'll come right back. Okay, so, all right, before I burn the image, okay, I want to show you guys, if you need good, inexpensive card, Micro Center is the place to go here in the United States. This costs me roughly about four bucks, okay, it's a 64 gig, and it's not bad, and this is another little device I picked up from um, micro center this is an io gear it does uh, sd and 
MMC, which was before um, SD, okay? And it's got the micro SD. The other one that I like, you can get this off of Amazon, is the Smart Q. And it only does two like this does. But the only problem I don't like about this is this is the third one. And um, I'm not sure if it's I use them a lot or what the story is, but these tend to go out. So we're going to go ahead, hook up the um, Ethernet real quick before I burn it. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find my micro SD cable right here. I'm going to plug it into the um, mirror capture device and we'll plug up here uh, the Logitech um, keyboard that I have okay uh, I have a k400 it's got a mouse and it's it's got the uh, pretty much what we need to to do uh, to get this board up and running so let me go ahead and burn this I'll get all this hooked up and we'll come back okay moment of truth Angle this down just a little bit. There we go. So, got our image. We put it into the SD reader. Okay. And, well, does that not beat all? Okay, got to stop the camera because. My USB-C power uh, supply that was, like, right here fell down. So let me get it. Okie doke. Okay. So hopefully the LED lights will show up. I'm just going to move this to here right now because that's our LED lights. Okay, right there. So let's plug it up. And the black on the screen is my capture card. So again, I am hoping it's going to pick it up. Okay, so with that, plugging in our power. And maybe I did. Ah, sorry. The lights are here. And I'm not seeing anything just yet, but let's, sometimes I got to go turn on the mirror, mirror. There we go. And we got it in the wrong spot. Easy enough to fix. Hmm. Uh, give me a second, guys. There we go. And it's saying it can't mount the directory. Indeed. Okay, let's try plugging it up. Okay. Now, I expanded the board, uh, or the image, okay, and it still says it can't mount a directory. All right. Let me go take a look. It probably needs some weird SD kit. Be right back. Okay, we are going to try this again, and if it doesn't work this time, I'm going to hook up the uh, UART cables. So this is, again, 
the bookworm uh, X face version. So okay. Okay, I see a red light. Not seeing on the any. There we go on the capture. There. Oh, so I must have burned a bad image, but that's good. That is excellent. Okay. I always wonder these guys that you see with the real fancy, you know, high production. I bet they don't do this stuff like I do. I bet they have somebody goes through, validates, tests all this stuff, and then um, make sure it works. So, we are definitely booting up. And I'll lift this up without trying to destroy it, but you can see there's a little green twinkle twinkle light. So, that's pretty good. And I'm using some brass standoffs, as you guys can see. Uh, these actually came from a kit I bought um, on Amazon. They were like an acrylic kit for pies with um, hats. Uh, I just wanted something that had real nice um, stands that I could put my boards on. And uh, they work pretty good, pretty well. But I took out the uh, these for that. Kind of getting short on some brass uh, stands. I probably need to go to Micro Center, buy some new ones, or look on Amazon. I have real good luck with uh, 2.5 millimeter and 3 millimeter or 3M. I don't think that's millimeter, but anyway. So it's resizing the uh, SD card. And um, once it's done with that, it will reboot. The header card is working because It was working because I hit the escape key and that's how we got to the menu there. Let's see if I can adjust the screen a little bit better on the capture. Nope, that's it. All right, we're going to pause it for a minute or two because it's still still hung up there and it's saying two minutes so we're just going to let it run and we'll come back okay so we have debian bookworm on here the expansion part is working beautifully okay we are definitely getting an ip and um it's not bad i meant this has been really nice to set up. The only thing that concerns me is this is a little bit unstable. And I see where there's screw mounts where you can put support, I guess, support on there. So it'd be nice to be able to tighten that down. Uh, I have updated the OS. So I'm going to end this video now because I'm wanting to see if I can get a copy of... Uh, Geekbench, because I want to do some actual uh, testing on it. But just to show you guys, okay, I am running the um, four gig model. It's got two gigs of swap. We're hardly using anything. This is running, like I said, X Face Four. All right, uh, let's see. Let's 
go to a tab real quick. We'll install NeoFetch. And it helps if I put the app in front of it. while it's downloading it just to show you guys so i'm plugged in as you guys know into my banana pie r2 and i got um, an ip from it so see it's connected there but it also sees most of my networks in my house there's soft meadow the one we normally use there's the r3 mini okay so that's really nice. So let's do this real quick and then like I so said we'll end this out because I want to get I want to get some real benchmark material on here. So and it helps if I can see the screen. There we go. Orange Pi 03 running, like I said, Bookworm. This is, uh, like I said, after the update, we're now at 12.5. Okay. And the Windows management, I like how it, um, this is XFW4. It is X face, as you can see, 4.18. And, um, yeah, this is looking really nice. Um, keyboard's working. Now, it says that there's the mic's not working. So what I'd like to do is try to get the mic uh, I bought for my Banana Pi uh, P2 Pro and see if I can get that working on there because there's a Home Assistant program. And if I can get it to record voices, that'd be cool. This also... I'm going to try to see if I can find a, I have them somewhere, but I have a 3.5 millimeter cable that will plug into that and does uh, RF video, RF audio, and um, I have an old TV. Maybe we can plug it up, see if we can get some uh, performance out of that or back into, you know, this plasma TV that's behind me. But that's going to do it, guys. Um, let me know what you think. We'll get some more uh, stuff working on this. Um, you know, I don't have a lot of videos on the Orange Pi, except for doing the LibVirt-D. I don't think this has enough power to do LibVirt-D. Okay, and... It may be able to do it. Nope. There is no K KVM. Okay, which would be what we would need. Just to make sure one more time. Yep. So there's no KVM on this one. So I um, haven't seen alt winners do uh, virtualization. Now the rock chip does but anyway that's going to be it for this video this is a uh, tear pup until next time peace